Blistering lap of 1 minute 15.839 for Billy McConnell, well under the lap record by half a second, puts OMG Suzuki on pole position. Ahead of the rival built based Suzuki of Richard Cooper, the title leader, Taylor McKenzie's BMW in third. Lee Jackson on in fourth place ahead of Andy Reid on the Tyco BMW and Luke Jones on the big thumping 1200cc twin cylinder Ducati. Alex Olsen in seventh place ahead of Chrissy Rouse, Morello Racing Kawasaki and Luke Hedger. We've done the hard work hopefully in practice and qualifying. Race pace is good, should be there uh, when it counts really at the end. Yeah, good luck, mate. Yeah, mate, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be a long 16 lap, so I'll just try and hang in at the start and then uh, be sensible, save my tyre, um, and then wait for the last three laps and see where we end up. No, for me, I just want to get a good start and have a strong first couple of laps and just settle into the race. So, you know, it's going to be a long race. I just want to get the first few laps out of the way and then see where at the end. Yeah, back on pole, mate, feels good, you know, uh, the OMG guys have been stood right by me the whole way, mate, in hospital every day when I was in there, so, yeah, it's good to pay him back with a pole, but, yeah, it'd be nice to get a podium and taste that champagne again, you know, we, we had a bit last year, and it'd be nice to get some this year. That's all right. for the start, the pint side, Scooper Cooper, even, Scooper Cooper, uh, pinches the lead though as they go into the first turn, right where he had a monumental accident in qualifying yesterday. Fortunately, he emerged uninjured from the barriers, and uh, so too did his, relatively, did his motorcycle. The two Suzukis leading the way, third place for Taylor McKenzie, and a good start for Tycho BMW and Andy Reid, the Ulsterman running there in fourth place ahead of the orange helmet of Lee Jackson. Then it's Luke Jones on the Ducati. Alex Olsen, Chrissy Rouse, uh, Day and Rollo rounding out that top ten. That's a faller. Uh, and at least you've got some nice grass to bounce on around here. Oh, it's not Luke Jones, is it? Oh, no. Whoa. Is it Aprilia? I think it's one of the Aprilias. Is it? I think so. So it, might, it would be Levi Day or Lewis Rollo who's gone down. That, that's definitely an Aprilia, definitely. That gives Taylor McKenzie just a chance to get up alongside him, and he does, hits the brakes hard and late, and T-Mac goes through into second place on the Bathams BMW. You have to say, it's a heck of an advert for production tyres. Oh, oh, look at no. Jackson's guys, he got around the outside. Yes. He got around the outside into church. Sensational move by Lee Jackson on how the FS3 race in Kawasaki. I don't know how that worked. I've never seen that work before. <laughs> wow. Well, Jackson thought he might have the legs to it take this to Olsen. Cooper. Olsen's right around the outside there of Taylor McKenzie. T-Mac fights back on the brakes. McConnell tries the same move and succeeds as, he's, as he got outwitted by Lee Jackson. Jackson a few laps earlier, yeah. so he turns it into second place ahead of Richard Cooper. Yeah, we think that Billy McConnell might wear his tyres out a little bit. He, he always is a little bit tail happy. Uh, we, that's why we like him, uh, but he certainly isn't short of bravery, and that's having a lot of time off as well. This is the Jackson move. Yeah, and if you look on the inside, he was helped a little bit by the fact that Richard Cooper just couldn't get the drive. You see it wagging around at the back there. Mackenzie's through ahead of Cooper. Remember, yeah, Cooper. remember Cooper had an enormous accident in qualifying yesterday, yeah, James. The, the bike one. had yep. to be rebuilt. Yep. Um, he didn't have to be rebuilt, but you never know, and there might be a little aftermath to that. He got a beautiful run there, but so too did Jackson. Here comes McKenzie on the inside, crucially in the club corner. And Lee Jackson's going to try and hang on with him. But uh, uh, Taylor McKenzie shoots it to perfection. It looks like the black and gold. Batham's BMW is going to take the three. He does. Perfect, perfect tactics from Taylor McKenzie. Snatches victory from Jackson, who has to settle for second again for the second race in a row. Ahead of McConnell, a brilliant third on his return to action. After the uh, all the visits to the hospital this year, Skip, that uh, made things uh, a little bit better. Yeah, just uh, you know, that feels a lot better just because I was in the race for the first, you know. Uh, so then basically, I got almost gifted a podium just because of Taylor runoff. So that was a fair, square, hard fight. A pole and a third will take that all day long. Um, you know, I was hoping that they were going to have a. They were so close. Like, if I was to do a pass on either of them, I got to risk the run of hitting the front in front. So. 
I was hoping that they might have got to be a little bit, nudge himself a little bit wider and we could have snuck in there. But big thanks to the OMG guys. They stuck by me the whole way. So it's like a second family for me now. And, you know, when I was sick and laying in hospital, they kept my ride. They said I was the only one. So it's good to repay them with a bit of a podium. So uh, lots of love to them guys, my, uh, my crew, Simon, Paul and uh, Shazzy. So uh, big thanks. And we all work together as a whole team. So it's a big credit to the team. Thank you. Just quickly, Taylor. Oh, mate. Brilliant. Time that to perfection. Congratulations. It's not often I do things like that, so <laughs> I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, yeah, like I said, we had a plan at the start. Plans normally in racing just go out the window, that one, but um, I stuck with it. Um, yeah, stayed in the bunch, saw Coop was spinning a lot, and I, that was playing into my hands, and Billy come past, and I just tried to stay patient, pick it up, stick to the plan, and uh, be a bit brave on the last lap into Chicane, and yeah, it couldn't have gone any better. Lee, oh, it looks like uh, you didn't, any, didn't get any Christmas presents, like the man that Father Christmas forgot there, but you surely were expecting that challenge from uh, Taylor on the last lap. Yeah, it happened last year, so I knew if you lead up the back straight, it doesn't always work out, but... You know, with five laps to go, I felt like I had good pace still in me. And on the last two laps, I just made a couple of mistakes and, you know, and a little bit annoyed that we uh, just got drafted up the back straight. But it's one of the things. And, you know, we made a great race of it again. Everyone has spinning blue smoke. So it's just another podium for the FS3 team. Taylor McKenzie! <laughs> Well, Taylor McKenzie timed it to perfection with a superb outbreaking manoeuvre into the final club chicane on the last lap. Lee Jackson finishes second, exactly what happened to him this time last year, so he has to settle for second. But what about Billy McConnell takes that first podium in Superstock 1000 for OMG Suzuki. He's been in a hospital bed for half of the season due to that burst appendix, so he is back on the podium. But well done to Taylor McKenzie. He's clawed back a load of points on the championship leader, Richard Cooper, who could only finish fourth there. Game on.